uh, as, an, as an artist, you aspire to Mozart and you end up with Salieri somewhere <laughs> in there too. And uh, it's always an arm wrestle, you know, between, between those two. Um, why does it speak to me so much? This, this film has been my, on, on my top of my list for ever since it came out. When did it come out? Uh, 84. 84? Yeah. It, it has so much of the things that I, I love in it. It had, um, uh, it dealt with inspiration, it dealt with the muse, it dealt with um, whether an artist has a right to be an absolute buffoon because he's a great artist. So in some ways, Salieri's not wrong. You know, here is, is it looks like God mocking him with, with greatness when really Salieri's manning his manners and being the one who deserves it instead. And, you know, it, it isn't fair. Life isn't fair sometimes. One of the things I especially love about it, though, is you saw the old Salieri now and the, and the young one, right? That's the same actor. That's just amazing. On a pure practical level, from a, from a guy who used to, like I aspired to be Boris Karloff. I always knew I'd grow up and play the monsters in the movies because I wanted to wear that strange makeup and stuff. And when I was a kid at art school, I learned how to make prosthetic you know, face parts. And I would make myself up as an old man, walk around Glasgow, see if anyone knew who I was. They always did. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because I learned later to, that old people walk different, stand different. They have to move slower. You know, things hurt. I know that for real now. So um, that transformation into the old Salieri is nothing short of magic to me. So as well as the rivalry going on in there, I think it's fantastic that it's actually F. Murray Abrams that won the Oscar, and they were both nominated. <laughs> so Salieri won in the end. 